Infectious disease specialist Dr. Zane Chagla joins us this morning uh, to answer questions about the latest developments of COVID-19. And Happy New Year, Zane. Happy New Year, Bob. Good to see you. Hey, we've got uh, some fresh news, actually, and, and good news. Pfizer-BioNTech says it appears their vaccine is effective against that variant of COVID-19. Yeah, I mean, it's good news, obviously. You know, there are other variants that are starting to show up in the world. Now one in South Africa, which is now being looked at as a potential uh, where the immunity may not be as optimal as possible. Remember, these things are not all or none. There is less or more response, not a complete non-response. And so, you know, I think we're reassured that, that this vaccine will still work, even in the context of some of these mutations, but also that these platforms are super... Uh, uh, futuristic in the sense that, you know, okay, there's a few more mutations, the vaccine doesn't work, we can actually produce a new vaccine pretty quickly and put it back on the market. Okay, well, that's good news. And uh, no, that's Pfizer that uh, announced mm. that. And is the Moderna vaccine similar enough that it's likely the same case? Yeah, it needs to be confirmed. You know, the, the that they make the protein to are slightly different. But, you know, on the basis of Pfizer data and Moderna has said it's probably similar enough. But, but yes, it needs to be confirmed to make it 100%. Yeah, well, all the experts agree this uh, rollout has been far too slow. Um, the storage of these vaccines, is that a factor as far as their efficacy? Yeah, it's interesting. So when, when we approved the Pfizer vaccine, there was... A, a very uh, uh, strict message that it shouldn't be moved from these ultra cold fridges and, and essentially has to be given right near that site. And it's made the rollout very difficult. Um, you know, if you look at the manufacturer instructions, you can actually take it out for five days at kind of typical refrigeration temperature, which you'd have at home, uh, and the vaccine is still stable. And so Ottawa is now experimenting with that to try to vaccinate its long term care residents. Realistically, if that works, then it is, and, and Health Canada is allowing this, then, you know, I, I think that does make the rollout a whole lot easier to make sure Pfizer actually gets into long-term care. Uh, Moderna, you know, the rollout will be easy in the sense that that's a, a refrigeration requirement that's pretty stable in terms of how we do vaccines normally. Um, and so, yes, it's, it's hindered the rollout for sure, but hopefully as, as these experiments with moving the, the Pfizer vaccine go forward, it'll be more accessible to people that actually need it. Yeah. Another requirement, of course, is these are two dose vaccines, but the government is looking at, hey, can we maybe just do one dose and do more people? Good idea, bad idea? Yeah, I mean, and so I, I think everyone still needs a second dose. The question is when. So can you delay it a week, two weeks? The UK is talking about three months. Um, you know, I, I, there's no data in terms of how much one dose does over time. And knowing that this is a disease that's still going to be around after most people vaccinate, you know, you want to make sure that the optimal level of immunity is there from a supply chain issue. Could we give one dose and delay that second dose for a few weeks until more supply comes in, making sure more people get it? There's good modeling data to suggest that may prevent more cases in the interim. So I think we're going to move to giving that dose to as many people as possible, but still make sure that people do get that second dose. It might be delayed, though, for a week or two. Right. Now, people who are vaccinated early on, uh, the mass guidance, status quo yeah i mean i think so i mean again we still don't know 100 percent of these vaccines prevent you from shedding it but not being symptomatic and and i think we're going to learn that in the next few months until a significant amount of the population is vaccinated i think we have to treat everyone as potentially being infectious and remember in these clinical trials people still did get covid a small percentage of people still got covid six weeks after getting their initial vaccine uh, and so, you know, there is still a risk of bringing it into a long-term care facility, a vulnerable setting, a shelter, a jail. The mask guidance is really going to need to continue until everyone gets the vaccine. Right. And we have to remember they're 95 percent effective. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Exactly. That means 5 yeah. percent. Exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Hey, thanks so much. Good to see you again. Happy New Year. We'll check in Happy again New with Year. you next week. Dr. Dr. Zane oh. Chagla.